flap. Flap, flap. Say. Hello, summoners. Hope you don't mind me showing up a little earlier than usual. Who am I kidding? I know you don't. As always, I, Bay, have gathered a lot of exciting news to share with you summoners. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the latest information on the Fire Emblem Heroes game. It's time for... Bay Channel. Let's get started. How about... Ah, this one. Is that Marth? By the tips of my feathers, Emblem Marth is coming to Fire Emblem Heroes. And he's a new kind of hero altogether. You guessed it, he's an Emblem Hero. But what does that actually mean? Let's take a look. Unlike in Fire Emblem Engage, Emblem Try. Heroes in Fire Emblem Heroes Your enter battles directly. Stuck. I bet you were already thinking. Now, as one. Emblem, Emblem Engage! And in fact, there is a new Engage feature with these heroes. The best way to show you is... Well, to show you! Ready, Alir? One, two... Emblem Engage! That went off without a hitch. But... Did anything happen? Faye! Alir's special has been powered up! Draconicora's cooldown count is now one! It looks like engaging with an emblem hero leads to powered up specials and stat bonuses! Different emblem heroes have different effects too! It seems the bonuses they grant to stats increase the more times the emblem hero was merged. Oh, and get this! Emblem heroes can engage with any hero. But please bear in mind that only one hero can be engaged with each emblem hero, even if you have more than one of that emblem hero in your barracks. Alir is sure Guided making a splash emblems. on the battlefield with Mark's help. Emblem heroes will appear at the end of the month, the same time legendary and mythic heroes do. Oh, what's this? <gasps> The Divine Dragon Lumera will appear in this summoning event, too. She's a light-type mythic hero. The explosive power of a Divine Dragon is incredible to behold. It's been one year since the release of Fire Emblem Engage. I think this luminous summoning event is a fitting celebration. Do you think I'd get stronger if I engaged with an Emblem Hero, too? All right. Let's push forward! The Choose Your Legends Round 8 event results are here! Thank you all for participating! It's time to present the winners! Ta-da! A glorious group of heroes indeed! The special Choose Your Legends versions of these heroes will make their appearance this summer! Now I'm even more excited for summer! And onward we go! This year marks the seven-year anniversary of Fire Emblem Heroes' launch! A big asker thank you to all you summoners! We'll be holding a series of events this year to celebrate. Allow me to introduce a few of them. Celebratory login bonus! Log in 10 days during the active period, and you can get the items you see here. Oh, hey! Is that an Ascendant Florid? Celebratory quests and Aether Raids quests. Clear quests during the active period, and you can get these rewards. Oh, there's even a Forma Soul! Grand Hero Party and quests. 14 Grand Hero Battles that appeared in the past will now appear in the Daily Rotating Selection. You can make these 5-star Grand Heroes your allies by clearing daily quests during the active period. 
even if you've completed their grand hero battles in the past. <gasps> what an opportunity! Hero Fest! In this summoning event, legendary hero Veronica will appear in the red category, rearmed hero Alfred in the blue category, legendary hero Robin in the green category, and mythic hero Fomortius in the colorless category. <sighs> A chill runs down my feathers when Fomortius glares at me like that. Since it's a hero fest, the five-star hero initial appearance rate will be set to 8%, including a five-star focus hero initial appearance rate of 5%. This will be available starting February 1st. Guaranteed five-star special hero summoning event and special maps! You can get one of these five-star special heroes as an ally guaranteed. Just look at all those colorful costumes. I can't wait to see who joins my barracks. Also, be on the lookout for 13 special maps themed around heroes from the guaranteed five-star special hero summoning event. If you clear all maps on normal difficulty, you can get a total of 13 orbs. And if you clear all maps on hard difficulty, you can get a total of 13 summon tickets. You can use these summon tickets to get guaranteed special heroes in a celebratory summoning event featuring heroes from the four star special hero special rate category. This category includes five star special heroes who have appeared in Fire Emblem Heroes from version 1.1 to version 5.1 including those I mentioned in the login bonus earlier, you can get up to 20 summon tickets. Sounds like a great chance to welcome lots of special heroes to your barracks. Five-star special hero summoning revival and celebratory gifts. 36 special heroes who appeared between January and September 2023 will appear once again in special summoning events. In each summoning event, 12 special heroes will be a part of the summoning focus. More details on which heroes will appear in each summoning event are coming soon. Fey! The five-star focus rate will be 8% for these summoning events, just like legendary and mythic hero summoning events. <gasps> what a great opportunity to build your teams! And there's more! During each summoning event, we'll be giving out five first summon tickets as login bonuses. I don't know if my heart can take much more excitement. Last but not least is... A Hero Rises 2024! A Hero Rises makes its grand return to the New Year's stage. This year's candidates include those who have appeared in Fire Emblem Heroes so far. <gasps> Ooh, it looks like voting is already open. Who do you think will come out on top this year? The top eight heroes from the online vote will appear in an in-game voting gauntlet. The hero who secures victory at this stage will be gifted to all Fire Emblem Heroes players after the event ends. The top four heroes in the voting gauntlet will also appear as focus heroes in a summoning event. In that summoning event, you can choose one of the top four focus heroes after summoning 40 times. You'll even be able to do that up to four times. That's all for the seventh anniversary events. If you clear everything, you can get the item shown here. As befitting an anniversary celebration, the rewards are plentiful. <gasps> I hope you get them all. Hey! There's a celebratory cake this year, too! Oh, just look how colorful it is! Speaking of delightful treats... Info on the upcoming February version update is here! Let's dig into a few details. First up is a change in how effects on heroes are displayed. You'll side. now be able to Always. check a list of active effects on units during combat. Being able to see unit statuses at a glance will make it much easier to strategize. Now, on to Hall of Forms. 
only skills with especially high SP costs will appear in the highest level of Hall of Forms. This change should give you even more chances to make powerful Forma your allies. It looks like additional maps are on their way to the arena too! <gasps> Faye! This should be fun! Moving on from the arena, let's talk summoning! First, I'll explain an upcoming change to the 4-star Special Hero Special Rate. The 39 Special Heroes you see here, who appeared between versions 4.1 and 5.1, will join the 4-star Special Hero Special Rate category. This rate will be active even in the summoning events where these heroes originally appeared. Woo! That's a lot of heroes. Remembering them all sure makes me feel like a wise owl. Next, I'd like to introduce some heroes who are making their first appearance in Summoning Focus Revivals. A warm welcome to all the heroes you see here. Please note that they will appear in the 4-star Special Rate category instead of the 5-star Heroes category in other summoning events. Now, let's talk Legendary and Mythic Hero Remixes. Two heroes are about to become even more powerful! This time, it's Regan and Triandra. Let's get into some of the juicy details. First is Regan. Yeah. She will be getting the Sather Shell Plus skill. This means that her I'm special cooldown her. count will be reduced by three on both the first and fourth turns. She'll also be getting Panic Smoke 4. Now, on to Triandra. As you direct. She will be getting the Frightful Dream Plus skill. Nightmares unending. This upgrade will allow her to reduce foe's stats even more, while giving an ally another action. Onward. On top of that, she'll also get Firestorm Dance 3. Wow! Regan and Triandra are stronger than ever now! Maybe I should make them even stronger using skill inheritance. Fey, Fey! Good thing I can have my heroes inherit five skills now. Huh? Oh no, I nearly forgot to tell you. The next update will also increase the number of skills a hero can inherit in one skill inheritance session from four to five. This should make it easier than ever to power up your heroes with great skills. I can hardly wait to take advantage of this myself. Hmm. Hey! That's all for today! Thanks to all of you, Fire Emblem Heroes has reached its seven-year anniversary. In year eight and beyond, I vow to continue sharing all the latest and greatest news for your enjoyment. Keep your eyes peeled for more updates. We've received some special celebratory illustrations for the seventh anniversary that I'll send you off with. A big thank you to all the artists who draw the art for our heroes. With that, I'll be on my way. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm taking a nap! Hey!